Hi guys, good morning. The fridge is being really loud. I'm vlogging again. I'm sorry that I'm vlogging again, but I have too much anxiety to focus on anything right now, so this is easy. I'm trying to get this espresso machine to work. I bought it for my new place, and then my lease ended on my apartment, and my new lease doesn't start until March 1st, and I was actually planning on getting a temporary lease until then, but then I decided just to move home until then, so yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to use this. It's been in a box forever, and I really want to make it work, but I can't figure it out. But anyways, I'm vlogging today. I'm going to review some hair extensions because I want to try some highlights because when I got my hair done, I wanted highlights and there isn't any highlights in it, which is fine because my hair was really dead. But yeah, see the cup doesn't like fit. Maybe you're supposed to use a tiny espresso or espresso cup. I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I don't know. Maybe I need a tiny cup. Okay, time to get ready. I'm like shaking, I'm like so anxious and I can't find a stupid hairbrush anywhere. Stupid. You guys, I just looked everywhere for like some nail polish or like some press ones or something to hide how my nails look, but I couldn't find anything so you're just gonna have to deal with it. They look gross cause I work in a factory, I can't help it. But. Okay, anyways, let that dry. Hopefully, my hair takes forever to dry, but first off, this V Beauty Eyelash Grow Serum, I really don't know if it works yet or not, but I bought it off of Amazon when I got my eyelashes taken off because my eyelashes looked whack as fuck after I got my extensions removed, so I got this Grow Serum, and I've been using it on my eyebrows too because it says you can, and my eyebrows are really, really thin right on the end. Every time I go to get them waxed, it's like, it's not even like that bad on this side, but on this side, every time I go to get my eyebrows waxed, that side like disappears. So I'm hoping that it will work. Except for it hurts like a bitch when you get it in your eye, just a warning. Only if you get like a large amount in your eye. If you just get like a little tiny drip in, it's like, it's not really that bad. But like if a hefty amount drips in there, like you're fucked. It feels like you're going blind. Man, vlogging helps my anxiety so much. I might just start vlogging constantly. Like, I just had took my mind... Unfortunately, I just thought about it again. But, like, I just took my mind off of everything just talking. It's already 9.53. I need to leave, like, at 11 at the latest. So, I gotta go quick. Woke up late today. And then I was in the shower for, like ever for like two hours usually i'm in the shower for like 10 minutes i was just standing in there having anxiety for like two hours straight and the water got cold so i had to get out i knew i could find some primer ordinary high adherence primer whatever i don't know what primer does but I have this one primer that's like clear and it's from Smashbox and I love it by itself. But then as soon as you put makeup over top of it, it like, it like rubs off. Like it like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it comes off like fucking like Play-Doh or some shit. Or like it comes off like if you put like a thin layer of glue on your face and then like start like scrubbing it off and it like starts like coming off in those little rolls that's that's what happens i don't understand why i can't find my good concealer and this concealer is actually a little too dark for me i think but i lost my good one i got a good one from cover fx and i just bought it like two weeks ago and it has disappeared i forgot to take my meds last night that might be part of the reason why I'm so anxious. Okay, I'm just gonna use this this concealer. Oh no, I put too much on. Just put it everywhere, it doesn't matter. Damn, I look rough. Okay, that's fine. Put a little bit here, maybe. <laughs> I'm not exactly the best at makeup. I think it's because I rush it a little bit too much. I just hate putting makeup on, but I hate the way I look without makeup, so, yeah. 
Oh, did that actually do something? I don't know. Okay, that's probably enough concealer for today. This brush, fuck this brush. I, like, look at it. You can see the little pieces coming in. I spent so much money on this brush at Winners, and I splurged. Because I had an audition, like a surprise audition, and I was out of town. I had to go buy some stuff to get ready and film it in a hotel room. And it was all whack. So I bought this brush, and it was like $25 for this fucking brush. And it literally is just falling apart. And, like, I had an audition on Monday, and I did my makeup, and it was on Zoom. And, like, as I was, like, introducing myself and everything, I realized that I don't know how I didn't feel it. But as I was, like, putting powder on, one of these got stuck to my lip gloss. And there was, like, a brush fiber hanging from my mouth. And I was like, oh, my God, that is so embarrassing. Fuck you. But it's the only brush I can find. So I'm going to use it, but I'm going to be cautious with it. Oh yeah, this is the powder that I'm using. It's from Too Faced. I also found it at Winners on that same day. The only reason I bought it is because it was the only powder that was light enough for me. So yeah. Milani blush. Oh. Look, I think this is for blush. Oh, angled, angled blush. Okay, yeah, it's for blush. I have this one blush. I lost it. I've lost like all of my makeup recently. I'm gonna blame it on the move, but I don't think that was the culprit. I think I'm just irresponsible. But anyway, um, I have this one blush and it's from Essence and it was like $2 and it's so good. Shows up so bright. This stuff I think was also really cheap, but it's not very bright. You can hardly see it. It's like the only makeup I know how to put on, so I need it to do its job. I also lost my eyelash curler, so my eyelashes aren't getting curled today. That's fine. But I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex mascara. I just bought that brand new mascara, that red one, in my last vlog, and I don't know where it went. That was like after I moved, too. Like, no, that was the day before, but it wasn't like packed up in my apartment because it was in my car. So where is it? And where's my eyelash curler? Because I used my eyelash curler in my car on that day. Maybe they're both in my car. I have a pink car. If anyone's wondering. This mascara is so freaking old. It still works alright, but man, it is old and dried up. And I left it in my car through like all of winter. So it like froze too. Then like thawed out. Ugh. Oh well, it's fine. That's just the way life is sometimes. I guess I can put lip gloss on. It's gonna come off before I leave the house, but at least you guys get to see it. Okay, I guess I have to do my hair now. I'm hoping this works. I bought these hair extensions from Amazon. Um, I'm gonna review them a little bit for you guys. The only reason I don't do, oh my God, what the fuck? The only reason I don't do like full hair extension reviews as often anymore, I actually have a few that I need to edit and upload. The only reason I don't do it as often anymore is like I'm running out of shit to say about stuff. Like every hair extension review gets shorter and shorter as I make them. Cause like I don't even know what to fucking say about things anymore. And it's like little things piss people off and I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I have enough anxiety. I don't need to worry about Cheryl commenting on my videos pissed off because I said something was the wrong shade or some shit. You know what I mean? Maybe I should answer some, some of the Q&A questions that I got on Instagram. You know what people kept asking me on there? Pads or tampons. I was like, why do you even want to know that? But pads, because tampons are scary as fuck. And my mom, when she died, she left me like a bunch of tampons like i don't know if she left them for me or if she just had them but there was like a lot of fucking tampons so i tried to use one one time and i read on the box that you could get like toxic shock syndrome i don't even know what the fuck that is i didn't google it i just knew i had enough fucking problems in the world i didn't need another one so i was like no i'm not wearing these so then i put them in the downstairs bathroom where guests use and they were gone like so quick like i don't i don't know i don't know who used them up so fast but i was like nice i don't have to deal with those things anymore and then i bought pads would you do youtube as a career i mean yeah if people watched my videos <laughs> 
like really like nobody watches my videos so I couldn't do YouTube as a career but like hell yeah I would love to do this as a job life would be so easy can you imagine just being a fucking youtuber for a living like man that would be the fucking dream but yeah that's not gonna happen did I put oil in my hair or not I when I get really anxious my brain gets like messed up like I can't remember shit about shit oh whoa. tripped on my purse sorry Oh, what am I gonna wear today? I was gonna I was gonna wear this set, but I've slept in it and worn it like two days in a row. This is what happens when I get anxious. I bought two sets of them. What I really want to do, I expected these to be a little bit more highlighted, but I think it's gonna work out. Um, so I'm gonna wear both of them. Try to give myself like a partial highlight with them. These ones match my hair really nicely. So they are 18 inches and 140 grams. So I paid a hundred dollars for each set. The price kind of changes like every day when you're on Amazon. If you buy hair extensions on Amazon ever, you know that. So right now they're 112, but. So if you go on like a big site like below me, these ones are 120 grams and 18 inches and they're all $180. So these ones are 20 grams more, same length, and they're $80 cheaper because I paid $100 for each. So yeah, I got 280 grams of hair for $200, which is almost the same as one of those. It's really good, actually. Okay, there's the one set. They are very, very shiny. My hair's a little bit damp still, so that's why it looks so dark. But, like, if you look at it next to the pieces that are dry, it is a really, really good match. It is very soft, too. It's, like, the same amount of money as going to get highlights. So, add some highlights in my hair. Hopefully, this is enough. I was kind of thinking maybe I should have gotten more. Like, maybe, like... Just a couple extra grams of the highlights because like I already have this color hair and I'm gonna have more but then I was like the bottom also needs to balance out I don't know how to do that so we went with the same amount for both hopefully it works out I'm gonna make sure it's sectioned off nicely because I'm actually gonna be wearing these today and I don't want them to hurt all day there I'll use one of those on the bottom Oh, what is that? What the fuck? Let's just brush over that and hope that stays in place. Also, I don't think you're supposed to brush your hair so violently when you have clips and clip in hair extensions in because then they get like pulled and they rip your own hair out. But you know what? I have such thick hair. I like to think most rules don't apply to me. I used to bleach my hair from a box like every single day in high school. My hair can survive a little bit of this. Oh my god, this vlog is going to be forever fucking long because everything is taking me so long. It's actually starting to come together a little bit. My hair actually looks a lot blonder than it felt like it was coming along. I feel like I keep straightening the exact same spot thinking that it's doing something for my whole head. <sighs> I'm still answering questions and I got asked if I support the LGBTQ plus community. I don't know. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gay. So, hope so. Um, I think I'm bi if you're wondering. I don't really know. I mostly like women, but like I really like Post Malone. Like I think Post Malone is so hot. So it's like hard to say. If I only liked Post Malone a little bit and only thought he was a bit attractive, I don't even know if I would consider myself bi because I don't really find myself attracted to most men. But Post Malone, oh shit, he is so hot. But then, like, I think all women are hot. Like, the majority of women. Holy crap, I was gonna watch one episode of Squid Game as soon as I saw 067. Oh my god, she's so hot. I can't remember what her, I can't remember what her real name is, but she is, like, a fucking, like, masterpiece. She is gorgeous as fuck. I ended up watching the whole series in, like, three days. And it was good. Not to say the show isn't good, but, like, I was only gonna watch one episode. And then she appeared, and I was like, damn. Okay, maybe I could stick around. That's the same with Fear Street. I wasn't gonna watch Fear Street when it first came out. And then the cover photo popped up with Dina on it, and I was like, oh. And then Perks, she was a lesbian and her girlfriend was hot too. It was like, like all of my favorite things like put into one movie, like hot lesbians and like horror, murder. Who else do I think is hot? Emma Chamberlain. Ooh, 
she is exactly what I want to look like. It's hard for me to be jealous of women though because I just want to be with them. I don't want to hate on you. I just want to make out with you. No matter what I do, my hair just does not look good. Okay. Everyone's gonna know I'm wearing hair extensions. I think we've I think we've figured that much out. The ends of these hair extensions are just really thin. Well, also, I did a bad job clipping them in. It looks a little bit better now that I added that piece. No, hell, this side fucking holding up. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. One question I get asked a lot. How was coming out to your family? It was really easy because I didn't do it. And I'm not gonna do it. They can find out on their own, either when I bring home a girl or when they watch my YouTube channel one of these days. Thanks, fam. For the YouTube support. Not my fault, y'all don't know. Anyways. Actually, I'm pretty sure my dad knows because one time we were just like chilling and I was like, hey, what would you do if I was gay? And he was like, um, nothing. Like, that's none of my business. And I was like, true. I didn't really elaborate on that, but I'm sure he realized that I was asking that question for a reason. But I'm not sappy and neither is my dad. So I think we kind of have a mutual agreement that nobody has to say anything about it. Like, we don't need to like do a whole thing. And I'm not gonna tell anyone in my family until they figure it out. And then if they don't accept me, that's fine. I won't accept them for being straight. Uno reverse card or whatever the fuck. <sighs> oh my God. Here's the hair extensions. There's your review. Do they look all right? Because I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm considering taking them out before I leave for school, even though they took forever. I can't get my shirt done up. <sighs> Uh, I'm just gonna leave them in and then if they start to look bad, I'll take them out in the car. Fuck it. Let's go. As you might be able to tell, I ripped my hair extensions off because they were pissing me off. Everything was pissing me off. I was like sitting on the back of my shirt and I couldn't move. And like my pants are slightly too tight and I didn't know until I sat down in them. And yeah, I got Starbucks just with oat milk and then stevia on the side. And the most boring sandwich, but my favorite, egg white but no cheese and no turkey. Okay, lighting is shit because it's foggy out, but just had my tattoo removal. It hurt like a motherfucker. I know I said I wasn't gonna swear, but it hurt so fucking bad. And, sorry, <laughs> that girl walking behind me had a nice body. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Um, But like, even I almost passed out. Here it is. It's kind of hard to show you this one, but you can kind of see it. I know it doesn't look like anything really happened, but she said it takes six weeks for the, uh, ink to break down and then I can go back in for another session and we don't know how many we're gonna need just because mine's so brand new but and then it will finally be gone I want it gone for two reasons acting purposes and who the hell just wakes up one day and is like I'm gonna get the same tattoo as Post Malone that's weird it's weird and it's right there and it's big and you know what it's gotta go okay so, I'm um, filming on my actual phone. This shit does not fit anywhere. iPhones 12s are fucking giant. I'm filming on that phone because, like, is this even working properly? I don't even know where to look. This feels weird. This one's full of storage. So, I wanted to go sit in, like, a random... Oh, the quality is too good. I hate it. Okay, I wanted to go sit in this, like, random Starbucks to work but I'm gonna go sit in the mall because I need to buy some sweatpants because I just realized like with mixed with the discomfort of my tight jeans and this I won't be able to focus on anything so I'm gonna get some sweats and I might get a different shirt to wear under this because people keep staring at me like I'm naked I'm so confused my GPS keeps telling me to turn down one-way roads in the direction that you're not supposed to drive in it is very confusing. I hate downtown Hamilton. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I don't know why I come here. <laughs> Guys, this is not my day. 
it's just not my day. Why is my car so I got out. I'm going to the mall and I'm gonna buy some sweatpants because these jeans are too tight and I don't know what I was thinking trying to be a cute girl. I'm not a cute girl. I tried to wear hair extensions, couldn't do it. Trying to wear jeans, I gotta go buy Use some Use the left sweat. three lanes to keep Fuck left you. onto Upper Shut James up. Street. Fuck you. I'm trying to talk, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. I need her help because I don't know how to drive properly. And one way roads really messed me up. Which is concerning because I drive around Toronto every day. I just realized something. I might not be able to work in the mall because unless they have tables in Starbucks. I don't know if they do anymore. My laptop might be dead. Can't really check right now. Uh oh. Might have to go somewhere else. better. I don't know if there's anyone in here or not. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I do need to go find a cardigan though because I don't wear t-shirts out in public but I feel so much better now. We're good. Okay. I wasn't meant to be cute. Okay. Hold on. Doesn't this outfit just look way more right on me? I'm... Oh, fuck off. Okay. I guess that's staying like that. My trunk is a tad full. It's because I'm messy. I don't care. Don't I look better in this outfit? Like, it's just... I wasn't meant to dress cute. I really wasn't. Dressing cute is a lot for me. It made me like uncomfortable. Like I was walking through the mall and I was like, ooh, this feels fucking weird. So then I bought this little sweat set, cardigan. Like I said, I need a cardigan because I hate wearing short sleeves. I got another coffee and it scared the shit out of me. I do not drink sugar. It's not a big deal. Everyone always makes it a big deal for some reason, but I don't drink sugar. And I put my pack of Splenda on this and it like got stuck in the straw. And when I took my first sip, it was like the sweetest thing in the entire world. And I was like, oh my God, they put sugar in this and I'm gonna have to go back and tell them that it was just supposed to be oat milk and that's it. And no, it was just me being stupid. I'm really hungry. Okay, we need to hit the road, all right? Okay, I'll see you guys when I get some fucking food. If I do, it better. I'm gonna literally pass out in class because I'm so hungry. I just got home. I'm literally so hungry. I never got time to eat. I don't even remember the last time I was vlogging. I think I said I was gonna go get food. That didn't happen because there was like a million accidents on the highway and traffic was whack. Then I got to school right on time. And then we got out of school really late. Like we didn't get done till like 11. I just got home, I got some pizza. I feel like there's no point in going to sleep because I have to go to work at seven in the morning. So that means I have to leave my house at 6.30 and be up at at least six. It's almost 2 a.m.